what in the hell is going on with this dude? This man's been online like fucking like live stream like five times this weekend. And at least twice, maybe three times, dude's not it out. Dude went shopping at Walmart the other day, walking around looking like he about to fall asleep. Like he, and then he sits down on a damn bench at the front of the store, I guess, or in the back, whatever. Fucking drops his phone a bunch of times, fucking nodding in and out, like, what the fuck? Somebody need to go take that dude's phone away from him, my God. I mean, if he ain't gonna quit the drugs, man, God damn it, at the very least, fucking quit live streaming and shit, that's embarrassing. I don't even like this dude, and I'm embarrassed for the motherfucker. What the fuck? Oh, God, man. And then Dirky on there on a live feed yesterday, he fucking told me about, oh, he just took some dollars off PM, you guys just don't understand, he's just tired from working. Nobody's that damn tired from working, man, shit. Please. We all fucking work. Everybody is, it's a goddamn adore. We work some normal, like, blue-collar type of job. We all work over. We all work overtime occasionally. Shit happens. Nobody's that damn tired unless they're on something. My God, man. If any of y'all know that, dude, god damn, get in touch with these people and, like, fucking tell them, get that dude all the hell off the damn internet, my god. I mean, what the fuck, man? Then he goes live this morning driving in the damn car, looking all fucked up, looking all hungover and shit, god almighty. Come on, be a positive and shit, man. They ain't nothing positive about being fucked up on dope, dude. They ain't nothing positive about it. Nothing, no matter how you spend it, it ain't good. God damn. Darky on there the other day talking about, well, he could have had a stroke or a heart attack. No damn heart attack, no fucking stroke. Dude, not at all. He passed out. He fucked up. I mean, you know when you fucking get, take something like that, you know that you're going to be fucked up. You know there's a chance you, you passed out before. You know there's a chance it could happen again. He still picks up the phone and hits the fucking live button. Go live on the damn app, man. My God. God, I mean, it's, just, it's mind blowing, but it's kind of oddly fascinating at the same time. Watching somebody just, I mean, this dude's going off the rails, man. It's you're we're sitting here watching a dude self destruct. I mean, it, it ain't no funny about it, man. Usually I laugh at dirty shit because he says dumb stuff, but and he acts stupid and says dumb shit. But even he don't act like this, not lately. He just gets jacked up and goes on a. A ran occasionally or gets on there rambling about how awesome he is and all that shit. That, that's funny to me, but this ain't fun. That dude's gonna end up killing himself or killing somebody else, get behind the wheel of a car like that or whatever. If any of y'all know this dude or know this family, man, you might want to reach out and just be like somebody they know or somebody you know that he's related to around this. Look, man, y'all need to have to talk with this dude. Something ain't right, man. That ain't normal. Whatever the fuck dude's got going on or going through, I, I don't know, don't care. It's none of my fucking concern. None of my, I, again, I don't even like the dude. But for his family's sake and for the people that live around them's sake, hopefully he don't get in a damn car wreck and, and kill somebody or harm somebody. Like, y'all might want to get in touch with somebody and be like, look, dude, this, this shit's not cool. Y'all need to go talk to that dude or do something. Take the damn phone away. <laughs> my God, man. I mean, I ain't never seen nobody like this on a live feed with the exception of them, like, tweakers and shit that get on there and acting crazy and shit or junkies that just don't give a fuck. I mean, like, I mean, god damn, that, that's drugs, though, man. That's how crazy it is. That's the insanity of it. You keep doing the same stupid shit over and over and over, and you don't think there's anything wrong with it. But, I mean, this shit ain't, it ain't funny. It ain't cool. It's fucking sad and pathetic. Sad and pathetic. That's the only way I know to describe it, but I don't think the dude gonna change or anything like that. But at the very least, man, like do need to be off the road. Doesn't need to be on the road like that for sure. They already talked about it a couple weeks ago or about a month ago, whenever it was. They got in a wreck, hit, ran off the road, hit somebody's mailbox, and like cussed a lady out or something. I mean, it's such a train wreck, man. It's such a train wreck. But at the same time, though. As entertaining sometimes these train wrecks can be, this dude is self-destructing right in front of us on live stream, man. And they complain about trolls and people fucking with them. Dude, y'all are feeding people the ammunition to fuck with you over and to make a fool out of you with, dude. You're giving them the ammunition they need to fuck with you and to fool, to make you look like a damn fool. They don't even have to make you look like a fool. You already do because you keep making the same stupid choices. Damn, man. 
I mean, you know, hey, I'm the problem, my weakest link, bitch. I'm gonna hurt that. I wanna hurt that boy. I wanna hurt him. And he's like, yeah, yeah, he's a pussy. He said he won't fight nobody because he's gonna get his dog break. Dirk, you had your chance to fight somebody last summer. Scooter Baggins would come down there. Had the time, had the money, and had the damn sure had the had the desire to do it. And just right like the day before he was supposed to come down there. You fucking hopped a train and take off to fucking Virginia. The place that you supposedly hate. That's where you went. You left the place that you supposedly love, your beloved best Virginia. Remember, call it the best Virginia, because it's the best Virginia. And went to what you call the shittiest Virginia. Because you scared that scooter back, man. Just cut that shit out, man. Don't nobody believe you. Don't nobody believe you, man. And your little cousin, he went up killing himself or harming somebody else or killing somebody else or whatever, doing all this stupid shit he's been doing. If you care about that dude, you might want to have a talk with him, man. Because he's worse than you at this point. Goddamn. At least you ain't out on the road normally, driving around and risking your life and everybody else's life. Damn, though. That's embarrassing, though, man. I mean, it's got to be embarrassed for his family. And I ain't even talking about the whites. I'm talking about his household, like, his family. Like, got to be embarrassed as hell. For him, too. But, god damn, though. I don't know. Ian, don't really care that damn much. I don't know the dude. I see this shit. I'm just like, oh, my God, not again, man. Not again. Damn, not again. And it keeps happening again. I'm like, god damn, somebody take this dude's phone away. My god. I mean, normally I get on here and just go for around and act silly and stupid shit and just, you know, goof on the live feed videos and shit, but this shit ain't funny, man. Again, it's sad and pathetic and it's getting worse. Again, these consequences, once they start hitting, man, they get worse. They only get worse. They don't ever get better. Not until you get a, cut all that shit out, straighten up. But probably won't, but hey, whatever. You're an adult, man. Y'all are grown. Do whatever you want. He said a while back that, hey, Normally, the rest of us, we can't handle that lifestyle that he can. Well, apparently, you ain't handling very well no more, man. So, you know, hey, have fun with it. This is the point now, you about to hit that point where you either straighten up or you're going to get in a whole lot of trouble, man. You're bringing a whole lot of trouble your way with this kind of shit. Believe that. I'm going to get tail off here. I got to go to work tomorrow. And you think losing your job was bad? Just wait. Keep doing this shit. Keep it up, man. You'll lose a whole lot more than a job, man. Trust me, you'll lose everything before it's over with if you don't cut that shit out. That's a promise. Absolute fucking promise. It's a fact. You can ask anybody that's been down that road and live to tell about it. You don't get no damn better. Hey, it's your problem, not mine. It's on you to fix it. This world don't give a fuck about you. It's up to you to care about you. People around you, your family probably cares about you and your friends, but the world, they don't care about you. It's up to you to care. And you gotta care enough to fucking wanna stop this shit and wanna straighten your life up, but I don't think you do. But I don't know. Who knows? Stranger things have happened, but Oh well, I'm gonna get the fuck off here. Y'all have a good night and I don't know. Who knows when I'll make another video. Maybe tomorrow, maybe another maybe a month from now, who knows? So uh, see you folks.